Hello and welcome to the channel from Kurat, Thailand. So I finally made it to my hometown city over here in Thailand, which is Kurat. So if you don't know about Kurat, it's the third biggest city over here in Thailand. And the population of Kurat city is around half million people. So after Bangkok and Chiang Mai, this is the biggest city in Thailand. And when it comes to size, uh, Kurat province is the biggest province, the largest province over here in Thailand. So yes, Kurat has a lot of significance in Thailand, uh, not only because it's the third biggest city of Thailand, but also because Kurat has like industrial zone, it has like good farming output over here in Thailand. Uh, so Kurat is a big city. But while I was coming to Kurat from Buriram, uh, my tire got flat. So you can check about that experience over here now. All right, so my tire just got punctured over here. Uh, on the way to Korat. Anyway, this is the place where it got punctured, so I have to find some shop over there. I just checked on the map, there is some uh, like a uh, small town, I guess, over that side. So I'm just gonna continue. So it's totally done now, so I cannot ride it, but uh, hopefully that oil station does have like air pump. So can I, I can fill up here and go to like nearby town. This is just a small, like uh, you can call it, way to a small shop. So I fixed my flat tire and I made it to Kurat. So it's my third day over here and it has been raining a lot. So I went to few places uh, in Korat already. But before I show you guys those places, do check out my room over here in this hotel. Uh, because it's uh, like only 350 baht. So if somebody wants to come, come to Korat, they can check this hotel out because it's not expensive. Right, so if I show you guys my room in Korat for $10 or 350 baht, this is what I got. A little bit kitchen over here. Uh, got a bathroom good one okay uh, let's continue so this over here is a small couch a little bit like sitting area and this is bedroom got an air con as well so this is for 10 usd over here in kurat if you book it for a month it's something like 4500 baht it's that cheap. Anyway, now that you have seen my hotel too, now let's go and check out some places over here in Kurat. So I already went to a few, but yeah, I am going to go to more now. It's rainy. Maybe I'm just going to go to Yamo and I'm going to show you some other places over here too. So yes, without any delay, let's get started with today's video. This is the night market over here and I just got myself uh, soy milk which I drink from these markets. Uh, this is my first time coming to over here because like Sevan market is famous in Korat. So most people just go to Sevan market. If you look, this market is big as well and it's covered. So it can like operate during the rain as well. <laughs> got one of these cakes so some good cakes over here but anyway let's continue so yeah we do get a lot of markets over here uh, in uh, Korat because Korat is a big city so uh, we got this near central we have some markets in uh, like uh, Joho we have save one which is the biggest night market in Isan so we got a lot of markets over here in Korat and this is one such market over here so these are the places that i caught in buriram so i'm just going to get one over here as well and the lady is cooking them over here in this one uh, so she got uh, like uh, peas and she's just making them right now over here maybe she doesn't talk put put me die my put put die my okay 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 
so this market is way too crowded it's uh, more crowded than i was expecting it to be there are many people over here many like uh, students just coming after the university break so yeah you need so many people over here it's it's filled up i guess seven does get less crowd now because it's a little bit far from the city but this market is in the city it's near central so do check it out if you are coming to korat this was my first time over here and i like it it's a good market so this street is filled up with the bikes over here uh it's just near central too many people over here let's visit the clothes section of the market as well over to that side this side was like food section and this also is the like the same area maybe they used to have bars over here but they are closed now i don't know and yes this is all area near central where most of the like student uh, university students live uh, in this area uh, near central all right so it was nice to be over here but it's the time to go from here and see some other place so yeah let's continue with the video and check out some other place but yeah as i said before this market is too crowded uh, it looks more crowded that than save one because it's like uh, within the town it's like within the city center right so i had no idea that we had this big huge uh, club over here so yeah we do get this in this area as well this is joho area that i'm right now that i'm right now at But yeah it's uh, good to see that we have these spread all across the area in Korat. Came to a lotus there are many of these over here this one is in Choho and there is one in the main city there are in some other like district of Nakhon Ratchasima city as well anyway i'm just going to go over here to see something uh, if 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 i can find something to drink So I'm at a lotus right now and if you know these sweets are my weakness and over here uh they are on a offer buy one get one free so this is something that I'm just going to buy without thinking anything so like these ones and there are some other ones as well All right, so I made it to the biggest night market over here in Isan, the Seven Market. Uh, less crowded because it's raining. But when I was coming over here, I felt like Korat is way too crowded after like uh, riding bike in some all cities and everything. Korat felt too crowded to me to be serious uh, because it took me like around 20 minutes from Joho to come over here. uh because korat is a big city so uh so the places of interest are going to be far apart like this one is like around 15 kilometers from where i am staying so korat is that huge while i was in small cities i could just go like 3 4 kilometers <laughs> and i will i and i will reach anywhere in the city like places of interest so anyway that's one disadvantage of uh living or retiring in a big city is that sometimes uh it's too much traffic sometimes it takes time to reach uh a place of interest anyway i will be seeing the seven market a little bit and then i will go back to the hotel so yeah this is how my all right so this is my new haircut now so just make a comparison of how i was looking before and how i'm looking right now anyway not too much difference but yeah uh Uh, the guy he cut the hair is good he took his time maybe like uh, took like around uh, an hour and it was only 150 baht there is central mall over here in kora there is the mall and there is this terminal i like this terminal because it's not huge it's a small but uh, so it's easy to like uh, go from one place to another and just uh, eat at the food court or just go to the shops So yeah so uh, this terminal is my favorite mall over here in Korat it's it's a good mall 
and it does have like uh, Starbucks, Renson's, uh, banana, and every major brand over here. And from time to time we get many championships over here. So right now we have futsal championship going on over here. So yeah, a good place in Korat to just come and watch some tennis match, badminton match or something like that. So that's why I like terminal over here. So at terminal you can get food easily for a reasonable price. So all of this costed me less than 50 baht. This is the food court area of terminal. And the views are good too from over here. Terminal you get this sky deck as well. From where you can get the view of the city. So if you just look, this is the night time and you can see how vast, vast the city is just from this tower. So this is Mithapap Road over here. The famous, the first highway of Thailand. Alright, so I'm at the most famous spot of Korat. I'm at the Lady Mo Memorial. I must have seen this, uh, shown this place in many videos, but yes, this is the most famous spot over here. So, yeah, for anybody who is watching this video for the first time, this is the most famous spot over here in Korat. This is Mayfair Market. Today is Saturday, so the place is filled with people. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks like. It's a beautiful market over here at the Link Condo. And there are many bars over here too. So anyway, this was it from Korat. I know it wasn't much because I've shown Korat in many videos. Uh, so let's go to Chiapum and let's see how Chiapum is going to be. But anyway, if you found this video interesting, uh, you like the market that I showed over here in Johor, do give this video a like. Uh, do subscribe to the channel for more videos about life in Thailand. I will see you from Chiapum where I will be ending this trip and I'm sweating too much because I checked out way too fast. Uh, anyway, I will end this video over here now, but I will see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.